Marco is really a non-issue for us. The attention has really shifted primarily to Laura. Let's see how St. Bernard Parish is preparing. Let's uh, check in with Paul Murphy, who joins us live. Hi, Paul. Hi, St. Bernard Parish officials were expecting Marco to make landfall here in the parish or somewhere close to it here at Shell Beach. Uh, we can tell you that just within the last hour, the skies have gotten uh, a little more cloudy, uh, possibly one of those feeder bands from Marco making their way uh, across southeast Louisiana. You can also see that water is starting to be pushed inland and is covering parts of the road surface here. Parish President Guy McGinnis told us the impacts from Marco are manageable, but Laura could be a much different story. The Hurricane Katrina Memorial at Shell Beach is a solemn reminder of the devastation storms can impose on a community. 164 people died in St. Bernard Parish during Katrina nearly 15 years ago. Tropical Storm Marco is no Katrina, but parish leaders are taking the storm very seriously and urging residents not to let down their guard. It just seems like Marco is going to be okay. We might get a, a, a small tidal surge, two to four feet, um, here at Shell Beach and at Delacro. We can handle that. that. That's no problem. But with Laura coming behind that and the water that it may push, into St. Bernard Parish. Um, we're, we're, it's a wait and see type of deal, and we'll know more tomorrow morning. By mid afternoon Monday, Marco's tidal surge was already starting to push water in from the Gulf. Robert Campo runs a marina in Shell Beach. He is also very concerned about the tide coming up and not receding before Laura hits potentially southwest Louisiana Wednesday night. If uh, Laura comes in um, at a cat two and we're on a we're on the eastern side of it. You know, it hits west of us, like they're talking about it during Lake Charles. Um, you know, we're going to be on the wet side, not only the wet side, but we're going to be on a tidal surge side. In the meantime, folks who live outside the levee protection in eastern St. Bernard are heeding the warnings. There are cars, boats, and trailers parked for miles on higher ground along Highway 46. People who have assets, boats, and cars, and trailers and camper trailers here in the Shell Beach, Delacro, Hopedale area, they heeded the warnings. They saw these two storms, ground zero St. Bernard Parish originally a few days ago. So, so people got all of those out. You, you know, you got about four miles of, of campers and, and boats lined up on Highway 46 just inside of the protection levy system. And again, with any tropical storm, as we learned with Cristobal in June, which was supposedly a, 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 not a very powerful storm, uh, the road that we are standing on here in Shell Beach was underwater, and Cristobal did push some water over the levees here in the eastern end of St. Bernard, and that was one of the reasons why St. Bernard Parish leaders uh, did declare a state of emergency and got some extra pumps down here just in case. Now, as you just heard, the parish president saying that uh, as far as Marco is concerned, uh, the impacts from Marco are pretty uh, manageable, but Laura is a different story, and it is certainly a cause for concern here in St. Bernard Parish. From Shell Beach, Paul Murphy, Eyewitness News.